I love a highlighted blonde wig, especially for summertime. I feel like on deeper skin tones, if you're a little bit afraid of color, a highlight is so freaking pretty. And this is giving me wet and wavy vibes, okay? So today's wig is from Wow African Hair. This is one of their glueless and go lace closure wigs. It is nine by six inches, but it is almost a full frontal on me. I feel like any nine by six or 10 by six inch lace closure wig, it literally looks like a frontal on me. So if you have a smaller forehead right here, like I do, then you are definitely going to be able to get almost a full frontal with this closure wig which I think is really cool. So this wig can be worn completely glueless if you would like or you can go ahead and use glue or sprays whatever you would like to do but it is a very beginner friendly unit. This is the natural curl pattern of the hair and it looks so cute. It's, it's giving me that wet and wavy vibe and then with the highlights this cool tone blonde is so cute. I love it. I want to thank Wild African Hair for sponsoring today's wig install for you guys. If you would like to see how I installed this wig today. Y'all know what to do. Definitely keep watching. I'm super excited to install this highlight wig from Wow African. Their wigs never miss. Let's go ahead and unbox this baby so I can go ahead and install her. So your wig does arrive inside of a satin bag like this. It also comes with freebies. It comes with one HD wig cap, two hair clips, a rat tail comb, and an edge brush. So here is the wig. As you can see, it has these gorgeous cool tone blonde highlights, which I am really loving. This is 24 inches long, y'all. So here is a close up of the hairline. This is a nine by six inch HD lace closure wig. It does come with a pre plucked hairline and lightly bleached knots. While African never messes with the customization on their wig, y'all. The customization of their wig straight out of the box is exactly how I would customize my own wig. So this also comes with pre-cut lace as well. This is a wear and go wig, so you can rock this glueless if you would like. And here is the inside of the wig cap. It comes with two removable wig combs on each side. It has a bit of Velcro here, so you can easily take it off and on. It also has this removable big wig comb in the back that you can take off and on as well. It's also Velcroed. And then it has a drawstring to really get it nice and snug to your head shape. And then it has this silicone gripping all around the inside of the cap. I find that their glueless lace closure caps are very comfortable y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation underneath the lace and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and applied the foundation underneath the lace. As you can see it's going to blend in perfectly with my skin tone now. That is exactly why I always do that. Let's go ahead and throw this wig on and see what we're working with. It does have the C-shaped ear tabs here for my ear to comfortably fit around the wig, which I absolutely love. As you can see, this wig pretty much covers like majority of my hairline. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this drawstring in the back to get it more secure on my head. So the more you tighten this drawstring in the back of your wig, the more secure it is on your head. As you can see, it's a lot more secure than it was before. You can definitely rock this wig completely glueless if you would like. So the way that my head shape is set up, it goes further back here in the middle. So I need to take out some of these hairs here so that I can get it to match my hairline better, which is going to in turn make this wig look more natural. Like my sides come down pretty far, but the middle part of my wig does not. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut around this lace here. So 
So as you can see, this just looks a lot better on my hairline. I'm gonna go in and pluck this hairline a little bit more. I did take away some of the plucking that they did on the wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and pluck the hairline a little more since I pulled it back and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and plucked the hairline a bit more since I had to cut the lace to match my hairline. And then I went ahead and just cut a few baby hairs in the front. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of spray to put this wig down because I have somewhere to go and I want my wig to be secure. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of this melting spray on my forehead. It's still a glueless install, no glue, but I just want a little bit more security with this spray, y'all. So let's wait for it to get a little bit tacky, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull my lace down into it. And I'm gonna take my blow dryer on a cool setting and just blow dry it in place. So next I'm gonna pull up this hair and get it out the way. And then I'm gonna take this elastic melting band just to melt that lace into the skin. I'm gonna keep this on for 10 minutes and I'll be right back. So let's go ahead and take this elastic melting band off. Okay, she is melted down, baby. So I'm gonna do a side parting. We're gonna do like a C-shaped side parting over here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this edge stick just to go ahead and lay down this new parting. Then I'm gonna take my hot comb and just lay this baby down. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer in my parting. This is NC50 by MAC. This is their Studio Finish Cream Concealer. It's perfect for making that parting area pop. So next I'm gonna use the edge brush as well as this Extreme Pro Gel. And I'm gonna use this to lay down the baby hairs. So I'm gonna pin this hair up one more time, y'all. And I'm gonna do a second melt. So I'm gonna take this melting spray on that lace. Just press it in. Before you lay the lace down, you wanna go ahead and make sure that's a little bit dry. You don't wanna put it on when it's super wet because then your melting band is just going to lift up with the lace attached to it. I'm gonna melt this one more time and I'll be right back. So while the lace is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and style this wig. We're gonna see if we can get these curls nice and poppin'. I want them to be just a little bit more defined, so I'm gonna take a little bit of water mixed with leave-in conditioner, and we're gonna see what kind of natural curl we can get with this wig. I'm not gonna get it too wet, but just enough to kind of define the curls. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of mousse and just run it through the hair. I 
think it's gonna look really pretty once it's dry. So I'm gonna do the same on this side and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and just wet down the whole head and we have these nice pretty waves now. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this elastic melting band now because it's been well over 10 minutes at this point. So I literally need to run out the door, which is exactly why I just wanted to wear this hair in its natural curl pattern. It's really hot outside, so this hair is gonna air dry in like 15, 20 minutes max outside. So once I get back, I'm gonna show y'all what the final look is with this hair, but I think it looks really pretty with these natural curls. I also think this hair would look really cute if you wanted to do curling wand curls or if you wanted to curl it with a curling iron or even use like a flexi rod set on this overnight I think it would be really cute especially with these highlights but I'm also loving this natural wavy texture of this hair and the lace looks really nice as you can see even though this is a lace closure wig it pretty much covers from here all the way to here so it's only a small bit of lace on both sides so if you are a closure girly but you don't want to do a frontal quite yet this is going to give you a more frontal look without being a full frontal so yeah I'll be back in a little bit to show y'all the final look so I went ahead went out did what I needed to do for the day the hair is completely dried now but it looks so freaking cute I'm loving it like look how full this hair is she is so freaking cute. You can't tell me she's not cute. If you're interested in checking out this wig from Wild African Hair, I will leave a link down below in the description box for you guys, as well as any coupon codes that they provide me with. If you have not already checked out my latest Get Ready With Me video, what are you doing, baby? Go ahead, click the video right here, and it's going to take you to a cute drugstore makeup tutorial.